cold alliance, eh? After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock, my old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. I thought this is where it was going, because it, it looked like a Chinese setting, but interesting. All right then. It didn't have the uh, the chapter title, did it? No, I don't think it did. Oh well. I'm liking the music. It's pretty rad. I'm sure he's going to be delighted to see us. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda... zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. So it's possible he cannot hear you. He's clearly several feet away and way higher up. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you can get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, do you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, I'm a die. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeesh. Yeah, he probably was. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> okay, bull move, I guess. Um, we, we're gonna reach... We're gonna reach him from here, you say? Ah, I was going to say, like, how does this work? But yes, you get a lot more bounce from this, I see. I see. It's all becoming clear now. This is pretty weird. I still like how the Aboriginal ball form is being used more. Because it is just so bizarre as a concept. I'm guessing I'm still going to need to bounce all the way there. So I'll keep this bounce train moving. But yeah, just... What a... What a bizarre idea. Music is really good, though. Very, very catchy version of the theme. Here we go. Nailed it. Okay! I'm in position! 
Action! Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where are we are going to get them? The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull out those athletic moves. Okay. Good thing I installed a turret on this little lady. Perfect. So we have a car now. <laughs> oh, okay. That was easy. Oh, that was a bit glitchy. Okay, so yeah, we we just we just have a car now, I guess. Pretty weird, but I'll take it. I feel like the music is way too epic for what's actually happening. <laughs> there you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. This is gonna break them, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. Love triangle, except I don't think Sly's too interested. Well, this is gonna be like a weird chapter, I think, because this area looks tiny. And I'm one million percent sure this isn't all there is. Because <laughs> there can't be. Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! If you say so. Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. Um. Oh. That's it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just, just smack it? Smacking it'll do. Whee. There was something quite satisfying about that. I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. I would absolutely find it hilarious if we just like we like see the power of the king. He's just like, yeah, I'm. I'm I'll join you, and then oh, I press the wrong button. Um, yeah, I'll join you, and then that was it. Like, just, just chapter done. <laughs> Bizarrely easy chapter. It'd be kind of funny. This is quite hard to time. Nope, too early. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, if this was just a, like a surprisingly short chapter, it'd be quite funny. I'm sure it won't be. I'm sure there's going to be something else that happens. Just like, surprise, Panda King. China was done instantly. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do you do that? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, yeah. Can do. Oh, look at this guy. Awesome. Super badass. Whee! 
Um, how do I do this? Well, that went super well, didn't it? It sure did. There's some rockets here. I don't really understand how I get up there, though. Oh! I overanalyzed this way too much. I was like... I was thinking that I had to get the guard up there, somehow. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not quite. This is a neat little area. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. <laughs> it's a good thing your luck is unparalleled with anyone else in the universe. <laughs> Like, really, though, your your luck genuinely knows no bounds. The odds of that landing exactly there. Hello. We're here. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! <laughs> It'll require channeling. Hi, what da Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your minds. Oh my god! The level's going to be in his mind? Really? That is different. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? to steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. Whoa, this is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool. Uh-oh. This is so cool. What? Do I remember how to fight him? Absolutely not. It's been a year. I'm just going to get close and see what happens. Cool. It went well. As you saw, it went extremely well. I mean, it's not going badly. Specifically. Yeah, so he, he's, he's basically just gonna tell me what he's doing. Huh, awesome. I remember now, sort of. Snap out of it. This is all in your head. I had no idea what the noise is outside, but here, focused on your destruction. You gotta break him out of the memory loop. Okay. Um Make him sad, alright. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, that worked incredibly well. 
The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the northern mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Okay, yeah, so many things make sense now.